Thank you, Doug. Thank you, Doug. That's 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 outrageous. What happened tonight? This is completely BS. This is shame. Shame for the referees, shame for the league to allow this. 23 free throws for them, and we get two free throws in the, in the fourth quarter. Like, how to play the game. I, all, I understand uh, respect for all stars and all of that, but we have star players on our team as well. How's possible is Scotty Barnes, who is all-star caliber player in this league, he goes every single time to the rim with force and trying to get, get uh, to, the, to the rim without flopping and, and not trying to get foul calls. He gets two uh, free throws for the whole game. How is that possible? How are you going to explain that, that, that to me? They had to win tonight? If that's, if that's the case, just let us know so we don't show up for the game. Just give them a win. But that, that was not fair tonight. And this is not happening first time for us. Scotty Barnes is going to be all-star. He's going to be the face of this league. And what, what's happening over here during whole season, I've been holding you back. It's a complete crap. Coach, do you feel like you're getting any explanations at all? That offensive foul, did you did you see like get any explanation? No, no, there is no explanation. They just they just come up there, they review what and they see what they want to see. They don't want to hear us what we got to say. They don't want to hear the players. They they, they, they don't just want to protect us. Over again, they got 36 free throws, 23 free throws in, in the fourth quarter. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? How are we gonna supposed to play? Is this a, a one off or do you feel this has been happening to your team a lot throughout the season? It's happening a lot, but I'm telling our guys, be professional, keep fighting, keep going for the next one. But until when? For how long? Anyone else? Thank you. Thank you. If anyone lets you know, Darko really came in here, really was very hard on the officials. And when a coach, you know, is willing to take a fine like that and really speak up, what, uh, how, does, how do players react to something like that? Uh, Excuse me. Uh, it just says that you know, um, you know, he's all for us. You know, he's all for us as a as a family, as a team. Um, you know, we're always gonna stick together. Um, you know, we're always gonna be behind one another, and he's always been behind us since day one coming in here. Um, and he's gonna continue to fight for us, and you know, we love Darko to death. Um, you know, we uh, we definitely thank the world of coaching, and we appreciate you know him you know going to bat for us. Um, you know, but you know, this was a tough game for us. Um, you know, things happen towards the towards the end of games and throughout the you know course of games, and you know, um, calls are made, calls are missed. You know, it happens. You know, and we just got to move on to the next one. I'm gonna be honest. As someone that really doesn't have a a dog in the fight, not a Raptors, not a Lakers fan, you know, um, it, it's is it was ridiculous. To be honest with you, last night. I mean, that discrepancy and that referee right there, Ben Taylor, my gracious. Ben Taylor was fucking terrible tonight. Couldn't say it no better myself, uh, Fred. Uh, I mean, let's be clear. 23 free throws in a, in a quarter is bananas. Okay, that is bananas. You, to... to to be that one-sided on free throws and then the other team gets two, yeah. I mean, I understand why Coach Darko, why he just went on. He He's okay. Like, give me that fine. He's like, look, let us know next time. That's how y'all going to call the game, and we won't even show up. We won't even worry about making the flight, coming to L.A. and, and, and playing the game. I mean, I – I'm going to keep a close look because this is the first year of the in-season tournament. And so my first thought went to, hmm, I wonder if the Lakers didn't make the playoffs and they were an in-season tournament champion, would the in-season tournament start to lose value immediately? You know, what's the point? You can't have your in-season tournament champions something you brought along not even make the playoffs because I'm going to be watching because that, that that was ridiculous. I'm sorry, Toronto fans. Um, that, that, that was horrible. That was horrible to watch. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments, man. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to holler at you next time. Peace.